Lovable, dim-witted, talking space dinosaurs. There's a Disney movie in there somewhere. Hey, what's up, my peoples? M. Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Planet X Quirinus. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So it's your usual Planet X packaging with a picture of his chest right there on the front, because why not? Dare I say why not? Planet X Quirinus on this side of the box. We just get some techie stuff on the other side of the box. More techie stuff. Get some warning stuff. Do not try to eat this toy or anything because that would be really bad. On the back of the box, we have your obligatory product shot, and he only does that. That's all he does. That's all you're going to get. That's it. And that's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along here, we have Quirinus, which is Planet X's take on Slag from the game Fall of Cybertron. And a uh, very cool figure. I will say right now, I think this is Planet X's best figure to date. Honestly, this guy is just really, really cool. So here he is in his space triceratops mode. And very cool. So let's just get in close here so you can see the details Again, lots of nice molded details throughout. Nice paint apps. You just have some nice trans-clearing horns there. It's very cool. And just the typical molded details and paint apps that Planet X is known for. And looks very, very good. Very nice. Really, really dig this guy. Just so, so cool. All that sculpted detail there in the tail. Just very very nicely done. Undercarriage, a little bit of gappage going on there, but eh, I don't care. But still very, very cool. Really like this guy. So just for a comparison here, we'll bring in Fans Projects Kubrar. Just so you can see how we scale with, with uh, Fans Projects version of Slag. There you have that. And we'll see if we can get a group shot going here. We'll bring in Sludge, bring in Snarl, we'll leave Slag right there, eh, Grimlock, where should Grimlock go? Again, this is my Platinum Edition Grimlock, which is why he's, that's why he's chromed out, because I actually got rid of my regular version. So there is a Grimlock, and we'll bring in Swoop. See if we can somehow get a group shot going here. So there we go. There we go. There we go. That's some nice space dinos right there. I like that. I like that. Granted, that Grimlock does stick out like a sore thumb. Not just because of the chrome, but because he doesn't really match the aesthetic anymore. <laughs> but um, still, very, very cool. But of course, Planet X is going to be releasing their version of Grimlock, so... In time, all of these guys will match perfectly, so. There we have that, there we have that, and there we have Coco, that's right there. So, yeah. Very, very cool. Now, articulation-wise, his head is on a ball joint, a squeaky ball joint. You get some good side-to-side -side motion. You can get him looking up. He does... <laughs> He does have pretty much the same problem as, as Leonidas, as Perfect Effects Leonidas, whereas if you raise his head up too much, then it just looks like it's floating independently from his body. <laughs> it's just like, he has no neck! He's a demon! It's a demon space dinosaur! So that's a little weird, but... So you get some good uh, movement out of it. You can, you know, get him tilting his head. So, that's pretty cool. He can open and close his mouth, if I can get in there, which I cannot. Come on. Open. Open! 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 Oh god, I feel like this is like when I have to give my cat some medication. Open your mouth! <laughs> I can't get his mouth open. Come on. This should not be this hard. Yeah, there we go. Jeez. He can't open and close his mouth. I hope that was worth it. <laughs> but there you go. He can't open and close his mouth. <laughs> so.
So the front legs are ball jointed, so you do get some nice wiggly waggly movement. Not a lot of outward movement, that's pretty much all the outward movement you're going to get, but you do get full rotation since these are going to become the uh, robot mode arms. You also have this hinge right here, so you can actually move these forward at this axis right here. It does have a swivel, it does have a double jointed elbow, or would that be a knee? I don't know. It does have that. His toes can wiggle up and down. Be careful with these spikes on the back here, because they're not sharp, sharp, but they can they, they, they can still get you. They, they can still get you pretty good if you're not paying attention. Um, the rear legs, of course, are on ball joints. They can do a full 360. These are very tight, but they can do a full 360. You do get some nice outward movement, especially if you undo this hinge, you can get full outward movement. But, um... You get that outward movement again. You do get a swivel right here. You get a joint right here. And you get a hinge right here. As well as a ball joint at the foot itself. So, we have that. Uh, nothing at the tail. Um, you do have these little transclearant spikes on the back. These are on hinges, so you can kind of angle these however you want. These you can angle however you want. Or if you don't want them at all, you can. Fold these down, you can fold these down, and there you go. It'll look a little bit cleaner. But I like the spikes. I ain't got no problem with spikes. Spikes are cool. So, there you have that. It does have that little transparent bit right there, also. But yeah, very cool. I really, really like this guy. Ow! I just. They just got me. Ah! They're not sharp enough to draw blood, but that, that, you, you'll feel it. You'll, you'll feel it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, and this piece right here, the, the uh, I don't know exactly what you would call this on a Triceratops, but this piece right here is on two joints here, so you can kind of take it and fan it out if you wish. It's all up to you. But This is more really to just kind of cover up all those joints in there than anything else, but you can use that to display them how you wish as well. If you want. Oh, I almost forgot the most important part of the packaging. Oh, the collector's card. Woo! Same piece of artwork right there. On the front, and you get tech specs on the back. How dare I almost forget this extremely important thing. Anyway, moving on. He does come with accessories. He does have two guns. And, of course, these are guns straight out of the video game. And I have not played the game in forever, so I don't know exactly what guns they are. I think these are the sniper rifles. I think. I'm not sure. If you know what these are, good for you. I totally forgot, because I don't know. <laughs> I haven't played the game in forever, but he comes with two guns. And he also has two swords. And the cool thing about these swords is they actually have sheaths. And that's pretty cool. So, the sheaths are actually nicely detailed. And someone's at the door. I will be right back. All right, I'm back. Sorry, somebody was at the door. had to answer it. But uh, what was I talking about? Sheaths! Sheaths are nice. But again, you know, it does have some nice detailing to it. And the sword itself is very nicely done. That nice transclearance orange plastic. And nice molding to it as well. Very cool. And you do get two of those. Now, storage for this is... Not much. Um, all you get is just these two ports on the hind legs here, so you can take the swords. Now they don't. You can't use this uh, this post to plug them in because it's too small. You have to use the post that's on the sword itself. So you can take this and just plug it into the hip like that, or you know, aim it forward if you want. And that's pretty much it. Now the guns only really fit on there one way, and even the instructions tell you to do it this way. They only fit if you aim them straight up. And that's your storage. <laughs> okay, sure. Why not? Dare I say why not? Kind of weird, but okay, sure. You can angle it back. But yeah, it just kind of doesn't work any other way, unless you have the legs kind of straightened out. Then that kind of works. But, you know, I don't know. It's just, <laughs> it's just funny because the instructions do show you with the, show you plugging the guns in with them facing straight up. It's just kind of weird. They, yeah, they really don't fit. I mean, you have them aimed forward, even with the legs straightened out, they don't plug in securely because 
that piece right there just kind of bumps into the leg itself, so it's not a super solid connection. Doesn't matter because I don't display my dinos or all this stuff on them anyway, so I don't care how they store, if they store, if they don't store, because, you know, they never display with this stuff on them. But there you have the accessory. So let's just get right down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So, first thing you are going to do is you can take these spikes, flip these down. You can take these, flip these down. You want to take this back section right here and bring it up. Untab it. Just tabs in right here. Just locks this whole assembly in place. Just bring that up, get that out of the way. Take these little side panels right here and bring these up. Like that, and get those out of the way. Now you're gonna come here and split the tail. Actually, before you split the tail, you're gonna take the tail and just unclip it like that. You can see these grooves right here that just go right into these notches right there and locks that in place. So once you take the tail out, you're just going to bring out this whole armature right here like that, and now you can start splitting stuff. So split the tail. Come in here, split all this, and now, let me raise the camera a bit, so I got some room to operate. So, once you've done that, you're now going to take the leg, and you can unfold it, and you do kind of have to bring the leg outward, and bring this up on this hinge, just so you have room to kind of get past everything. So, once you've done that, you can bring this down. And bring this out like that. Bring this back up. Now you're going to take the leg here. You're going to straighten it out completely. And you're going to take it on this double hinge, bring it around. And before you do that, you're actually going to take it and rotate it here at the uh, thigh. So rotate it 180. And then bring that into the leg like that and then bring it all the way forward like that and then you're going to bring the foot forward and up on this hinge right here so bring that up and you know you've done it right because this little basically this little uh this little ledge right here not a ledge this little raised part right here will fit over that portion of the leg right there so once you've done that then you just take the tail you just bring it down on this hinge take the tip you're just going to Fold it in like that. Then you're going to take the tail and just rotate it like that. And then you're going to bring it down on this hinge. And there is a tab right here that will tab into the slot in this spike right here. So just bring that in. And oops. Hey, hey, that wasn't supposed to happen. That wasn't supposed to happen. How dare you? How dare you? You stay in there like you're supposed to. Like a good little tail tip. There you go. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking to it like that. Anyway, so line that up. Tab that in. Like that. And there you go. You got a leg all done. One thing to be careful with also. These little knee spikes. These things are legit pointy and they're kind of sharp. Do be careful with those because that's, that's dangerous. This is a dangerous toy. Very cool toy, but a dangerous toy. Just, just wanted to point that out. <laughs> so, because it already almost got me. But second verse, same as the first with the other leg. You're just going to take it and unfold it right there again. Bring it out and swing that tail in so you can get everything moved around here. Just bring that out and around like that. Take the dino leg, rotate it at the swivel. Like that, and then swing it into the leg. Oops, you do want that up so you have your clearance. Swing that up into the leg, right there. Straighten the uh, dino leg out, like that. Make sure that foot is brought all the way forward. Just like that, and then you're just going to take the tail, bring it down on this hinge. Then take the tip of the tail, fold it in, rotate this down, bring the whole thing down, and then tab it into that slot in the spike, right there. And there you got the legs all done. Oh, actually, no, the legs aren't done yet. 
One more thing you want to do. Let me undo the tail here so you can see it better. He does have heel spurs here that you want to flip out. They're a little hard to flip out. There we go. A little heel spur that comes down, so you want to flip that down. And then we'll tab that back in. There we go. I almost forgot something. I wouldn't notice because he would have just fallen over. <laughs> so just flip down that heel spur. There you go. Whoopsies. I almost forgot. I just avoided 10,000 comments. There we go. <laughs> so now, the arms, just bring them down. You're going to take this. Well, first I'm going to raise the camera so you can see what I'm doing. That would help. Just a little bit. You want to take the shoulder pad here and just rotate it forward like that. Rotate it forward. Take the dino paw. Just bring it all the way back. Open up this panel right here. Flip out his fist. Flip out his fist. Flip out the fist. There we go. Close that back up. <laughs> Do the same thing here. Second verse, same as the first. Just bring that paw back. Open that up. And flip out the fist. Flip out the fist. Flip out the fist. Flip. There we go. Bring that down. And there you have that. You just want to take the dino head and just bring it back for now. You want to take the chest, this whole chest piece, and unpeg it right here. It's just on a double hinge. You just want to take that and bring it down. You want to take the shoulders and bring them up. Now in dino mode. These two pegs right here in the chest plate peg into these top ports. For dyno mode, you want them pegged into, I mean, for robot mode, let me start that again. In dyno mode, you want these pegs pegged into the top ports. For robot mode, you want them pegged into the bottom ports. There we go. I said it right, finally. <laughs> Before you do that, you want to take the head, flip it up. It will snap into place. So now, again, bring the shoulders up and bring that chest plate up and make sure everything is lined up there. So those pegs will peg into place. And there you go. So now we will move on to the dyno head. You just want to take these panels right here, flip them in, flip it in like that. And then you want to open up the dino mouth all the way. Now how this works, this is pretty cool how this works. You want to bring the mouth down like that. And this whole piece right here is basically one piece. So as you bring this down, and you also want to bring it down at this double hinge right here. As you bring this armature down, it will bring this piece up and thus will kind of make the head collapse down and the bottom jaw will actually go into this groove right here behind his head. And that's pretty cool how that works. So you just want to bring that down and make sure that jaw goes all the way down into that cavity right there. And then there are just two little tabs right there that will go into the two slots right there and lock the dino head in place. Now you just want to take this little plate right here, and it's on double hinge, just want to take it and slide it up and in, like that. Then you can take these two little panels on the sides here, close those up. And are we done? I think we're done. I think we're pretty much done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. There we go! There we have Quirinus in his robot mode. Let me get these heel spurs down a little bit more. There we go. So there he is in his robot mode, and he looks really cool. I really like the design of this figure. It just looks, it looks so nice. It just really, really does. Getting close here on the head sculpt. So you can see, very nice head sculpt. Very cool. Very nice light piping. Love the light piping on this guy. That really just glows very, very well. Right there. And overall, just again, very, very nice design. Very invocative of his design in the game. You even get some little transclearing orange pieces right here on the sides of the chest. Just a really, really cool design. And the transformation is really nice. It works well. Very, very cool. I really, really dig it. 
Um, now articulation wise, his head is on a ball joint, so you can get some good wiggly waggly movement here. The shoulders, again, are on a ball joint, so you can get some good movement. You get that much outward movement. For rotation, again, you do have that hinge right there to work with also, the outward movement. So, you also have a bicep swivel, you do have elbow joints right there. It's a double jointed elbow, but you only get you know, slightly over 90 degrees of bend there. You do get a wrist swivel, the hands do open and close. You do get a waist joint, legs can go forward, they can go back, here it's kind of a soft ratchet. They can go in and out on a very soft ratchet. You do have a swivel right above the knee. You have a bit under 90 degrees of knee bend there. You can move these little knee spikes around. They're on hinges. And the feet can pivot up and down. You do get an ankle tilt. And you can use these hinges here to get some extra posability out of the feet if you wish. As well as the heel spur. You can angle that down even more for some additional supports. Um, the Triceratops horns are actually on ball joints, so they do also have a little bit of wiggle waggle room, so you can kind of angle these however you wish in dino or robot mode. So there you go. Very, very cool. Of course, he can hold his weapons. You can give him his guns if you want. If he can hold his guns, they are quite tight. Ah, there we go. So he can hold his guns. He can hold his swords. Take them out of the sheath. Uh, that one's very tight. Hold the swords like that. And the cool thing is that the sheaths can plug into the sides of his hips right here. So you can have his weapons on him. Put that on there. There you go. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's really nothing you can do with the second gun because it doesn't really go anywhere. You got the, 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 the. There we go. You can dangle it off the horn. There you go. Storage! Yay! Okay, maybe not. That's kind of dumb. But anyway. There you go. Pretty, pretty cool. I really like this. And there's even some molded details right here. And uh, that looks really nice, too. Just, again, it's a very, very nicely done figure, man. So cool. Now, for comparison, here he is with Fans Projects, Kubrar. Just so you can see how he scales. With another third-party version of himself. Uh, here he is with Combiner Wars Voyager Prime. Just so you can see how he scales with the current Voyagers. Uh, here he is with Leader Magnus. See how he scales there with the Combiner Wars leader. Uh, here he is with Growl. Just because. See how he scales with those guys. And there you have that. And I guess it's now time to get a group shot going. So here he is with Snarl. Let's see if we can get everybody in shot. I don't know if we'll be able to, but we'll try. He has a sludge. Uh, Grimlock can go somewhere. Put Grimlock right here. Get some stuff out of the way. Here he is with Swoop. He's getting stabbed by everybody's swords. <laughs> and there we go. A nice group shot there of our video game dinos. Pretty, pretty cool. Get me a little closer there. Yeah, cool. Very, very nice. And I can't wait for their version of Grimlock. Because I can't wait to have a, a set of dinos that just match perfectly with each other. That's going to be awesome. But yeah. Very cool. There's the Planet X versions together by themselves. Very, very nice. Very nice set. I'm really digging what these guys are doing. With these video game Dinobots. Really, really dig it. And as far as Quirinus himself goes, I, I honestly think he's the best figure of the set. I really like this guy. He is just so nice. He, you know, and he, you know, these guys don't have any die cast in them, but this guy 
for some reason, he has a little bit of heft to him, which is nice. It's a nice, solid figure, very good quality. A little dangerous with the spikes. I mean, those that, the knee spikes right here and these, these but yeah, these he's kind of a dangerous figure too. So do do be careful with him when you're messing with him, because <laughs> you will. Uh, oops! How dare you drop your sword? You never drop your sword, soldier. How dare you? But yeah, as far as Quirinus goes, very, very nice figure. I really, really dig him. And um, like I said, can't wait for their Grimlock. Because they'll just round this set off uh, perfectly. I think they're going to do paddles, too. I don't know if I will get that, if that happens. Because I don't really care about paddles. So I, that'll probably be the one that I skip. But um, as far as these guys... Very, very nicely done. It seems like Planet X has been stepping up their game with each release, and this guy is really is definitely a, a representation of that. It's, I think he's the best figure of this set. He just feels the best. The transformation is just really, really well done. It's all around very, very cool toy. Really, really dig him. So, if you would like a Quirinus or any of Planet X's other offerings, you can check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check it out. And you can also check out my third-party playlist if you have missed any reviews. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's pretty much it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Planet X Queerness. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be proud. Palm in your face. <laughs> Grimlock told me Slag to investigate this area, but there's nothing here. <laughs> me Slag knew Grimlock was full of beryllium baloney. Huh. What that pit here for? Whoa! Those! Oh, man! What you doing down there? That stupid lion-headed leader of yours kicked me down that pit! Jeez! Huh. That not me slags problem. No, oh, really? Really? Very nice, very nice, very sensitive of you. Gah. But seriously though, who would put a pit here? Ah!